We are on the go with Joe, and today he's getting a taste of a holiday tradition, especially around here at the Fox 12 Newsroom. Uh, recently, Joe met a local woman who makes cakes that she sells all over the world, and he's here now with a big serving of holiday cheer. Joe? Hey, uh, good morning, Pete. And you know, whether it's eggnog or gingerbread cookies, there's all types of foods associated with the holiday season. And Barbara's story has put her own twist on one tradition. All she needs is a little ho, ho, ho and a bottle of rum. I'm here in the very, very, very white kitchen of Miss Barbara's story. Good morning to you, Barbara. How are you? Good morning. Well, thank you for having us here today. Oh, thanks for coming. We are here because the holiday season is upon us, and you are known for your famous rum cakes and whiskey cakes. You've been making these cakes for 15 years, and you sell them all over the place, right? Exactly. We started out with the original, which is a butter rum. Mm -hmm. Then we went to a chocolate fudge rum and it just progressed. We went to pumpkin, cinnamon, rum raisin, you name it. And so we just we got a different flavors for different people. I'm eager to see how you put together your famous cakes. So shall we get a bacon? Well, we can. Well, we're gonna be putting a couple cups of flour in, and a couple of eggs, you know, okay. about 10 eggs. and right. 10 eggs, yeah. All right. And then, no, and then you have to go like this. That's a fine job. Thank you very much. You're hired. Yeah, in we go. Now we get to the booze? Not oh, yet, no. you okay. gotta slow down. All right. What are a couple different places that you've shipped cakes out to? Malta. Malta. Uh, Paris, France. Paris, France. Australia. I need more moisture in here, and right. then we'll so, do... So we need some whiskey in here now, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, this is money time. Now, do you ever say, okay, here's a little bit for the cake, here's a little bit for me, while you're working? No, I no? don't do that. Okay. Don't drink and bake, I guess, is the lesson to the kids out there. Oh, mercy, it does smell nice. And normally I scoop them. Did you do the honors? Of course. Okay, well, it's in the oven. It smells and looks fabulous. In the next segment, shall we complete it and see how you finish your world-famous cakes? Thank you. Uh, we will do that. We'll do that. For more information, just go to kptv.com. And by the way, you can sample and uh, purchase Barbara's Cakes at the Expo Center Christmas Bazaar. It's going to take place the next two weekends. I guess just bring a form of ID if you're going to. Well, actually, I think it's available to anyone there, Pete. Yeah, it, it, uh, it's, it's quite the product. And, it is. Uh, a lot of folks I know would would endorse it heartily. <laughs> yeah. We are on the go with Joe, and today he is enjoying a dessert that is filled with holiday spirit, or to be more precise, spirits, plural. Yeah, with an S on the end. Joe is with a local woman who sells her delicious creations all over the world. At least you went and you visited her, Joe, and uh, right. you can tell us all about how we can eat our cake and Drink it, too? <laughs> Something <laughs> along those lines, Pete, yeah. Uh, folks, if you really want to impress Santa this year, here's an idea. Instead of cookies, just leave the big guy one of Barbara Story's world-famous cakes. Although, if he eats it, you may not want him driving the sleigh. We are back in the kitchen of Barbara's story once again. How are you, Barbara? Thank you. It's nice to meet you again. Well, thank you for having us here. We're learning how she makes her famous rum cakes and whiskey cakes. Literally, she sells them all over the world. And you say you've been doing them about 15 years, right? Mm hmm OK, now, how many different types of cakes do you cook up here in your kitchen? We have an original chocolate fudge, cinnamon rum raisin, pumpkin, lemon rum, pina colada rum, pumpkin rum and banana rum. In the last segment, we started working on one of your whiskey cakes. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's just about done. Shall we finish the process? Sure, we can do that. All right, so how long did we uh, bake these for? You bake an hour. Bake an hour, OK. So there we go. These are the finished whiskey cakes, but I guess they're not actually done yet, no, right? No, we have another process to go through. This is sugar, booze. <laughs> and a lot of love, actually. And my cakes keep for over a year. That's the other trick to this. It's not just find out a flavor would be good. You have to have the, it has to pass the year test. Sugar and booze are great preservatives. Ah, they are the best preservatives. Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't work on people that way, but it works on the case just fine. We're able to go like this and get around the whole side of the cake. Okay, that's oh ready to wrap. Goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's see here. You gotta get those sides. Oh yeah. Is that all enough? the way around, you bet. Wow. Works like a champ, doesn't it? So what do you do? Just like Flap, this kind of? And then, yep. Like so. And so you don't want any seams. All right, everyone, get it while it's hot. This is all your toil. This is all your hard work. This is the finished product right here, huh? Correct. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to take this. It's good stuff. Barbara, delicious stuff. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for having us out here today. You're very welcome. Appreciate it. And folks, of course, you can take home a delicious piece of uh, Barbara's handiwork. For more information, just go to kptv.com. And I got some eating to do. And by the way, you can also sample and purchase Barbara's cake at the Expo Center Christmas, Christmas Bazaar. It takes place uh, the next two weekends. So go have a good time, eat some cake, and maybe bring a designated driver. Guys, <laughs> probably a good idea.